Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Laza video because today we're going to be going over the two new Gala Dragalia units. That's right, everyone knows the Gala is going to be Gala and not, but was not expected. Coming out of nowhere, boom, 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 a wrestler theme entrance showing up out of near nowhere. It's Miriam, who I did not see coming at all. And if you want to see my exact reaction, you can see my tweet. You should follow me on Twitter and you can see my exact breakdown of when I realized we were basically getting a new mem. Uh, so yeah, that's today's video is going to break down these two adventurers. I don't know what they do. Uh, I'm obviously going to be summoning for both of them. I'm getting both of them. Galanot is awesome. Her giant woman, beautiful form, hot, as everyone's been calling her, is amazing, and I'm going to get it. And Miriam is Mim, so there's no fucking way that I'm ending this banner without getting Mim. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can, as always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's go. First one, we got Galanot. Grant me the strength to protect my friends. Spoilers for the recent chapter, by the way. Sorry if you haven't gotten to it. I actually made sure to, to read it before the digest went down. Not awakens to her true power as a fairy, enabling her to change size at will. No longer a tiny, tiny being in need of protection. She now fights in the front lines to protect the one she loves most. And it's actually very nice because she actually has everyone in the back right here, which I think is a very nice. And they're in their gala uniform, which is funny because they are not in their gala uniform in the story except for um, the prince. Fairy punishment. This, <laughs> this is the uh, they call it fairy punishment, which is funny, but it's the naughty ball from not 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 ball from the um, Dragalia life. Let me see if I can actually quickly pull it up. One moment. Let me pause the video. As you can see here, the not ball. You can see it in the trailer. She transforms into this, which is very cool. I'm um, glad that they were able to make it in. It was awesome for it to be there. But anyway, deals damage to the target. And of course, it can't be shared to anyone else. It would have been nice if you could share it with only other fairies. Um, deals damage to the target and nearby enemies. It spells one buff from each of them. Wow. And if the combo count is 20 or higher, partially fills the metamorphosis gauge. One shapeshift deal damage to the surrounding enemies and inflict storm lash. Um, damage is 107 times 16 hits. Skill energy required is 2,620. Special effects dispels buff, and shapeshift energy gained is 80. When shapeshift damage is 532 over 5 hits, special effects storm lash lasts 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, and damage is 41. Next, we got fairy illusion. This is actually shareable. Deals damage to surrounding enemy. This dispels one buff. Wow, she's just super into just getting rid of all buffs. Good. Deals damage to surrounding enemies and dispels one buff from each target. And if the combo count is 20 or higher, per Partish, part, partially, I don't know, partish, partly, what? Partially fills the metamorphosis gauge. How did I mess up on partially, but not metamorphosis? This attack will pursue targets for the duration of the skill. When shapeshift, deal damage to the surrounding enemies, then deal damage to enemies in a line. Damage is 82 over 30 hits, so you should be able to get 20 hits pretty damn easy. Skill energy required is 5,240. Skill energy required is 8,279 when it's a shareable sk skill. Oh, I just realized this is a shareable skill that does 30 hits. That's kind of crazy for units that need to get that combo count going. Um, I don't know if you'd end up using it, but it'd be pretty fun. You can at least guarantee if you have this thing open, you're going to get 30 hits, but it does cost a lot. Uh, shapeshift energy gained is 150. And she gets shapeshift hard. It's not bad. When shapeshift damage is 700 over two hits, uh, damage is one thousand, and another additional damage of 1,000 that hits once. Okay, because when it deals damage to surrounding enemies, then deals damage to enemies in a line. So it makes sense. Their co-op ability is critical rate 10%. Uh, chain co-op ability is win combo equals shapeshift prep five. If a team member is attuned to win, fill 3% of their dragon gauge for every 50 hit combo benefits the whole team. Metamorphosis 2 grants not a unique shapeshift called Metamorphosis and replaces the Dragon Gauge with a Metamorphosis Gauge. Tapping the gauge after it has been filled to a certain threshold will allow not to trans shapeshift. Will allow not to shapeshift, and when shapeshifting, not will use a Metamorphosis to transform regardless of what dragon she is equipped with. By tapping a gauge a second time or after the gauge has been consumed, not will return to her original form. And Fairy Blessing 2, uh, it's Freeze and Bog 100%, and Flurry Strength 20%. When the combo count is 15, or 15 counts or higher, increase Strength by 20%. Okay. Um, she seems pretty dang good to me. Not as complicated as Gala Alex when they first um, uh, released her. 
So I think that's good because it actually did take me a while to, oops. Someone commented on my everything. Oh my God. One moment. All right, everything's back to normal. Um, I can't wait for her. I would love to use her. Uh, I've been waiting for Galanot for a very long time. And at the time that I wanted her, it seemed impossible for us to get because she was so tiny. But once we learned more about the fairies, it seemed pretty obvious that we were gonna get Knot. And I love her giant form too. I like all forms of Knot, tiny, medium, big, big. Or the Charmander, the Charmeleon, and the Charizard. Okay, so let's go. Miriam, people become stronger when they fall in love. It's true. A woman who fought the Drenal Empire 300 years ago at, Albir uh, at Albiris' side, though she holds a quiet disposition, she exudes warmth and care in his unrivaled love for Albiris. She is also a model of Brunhilde's human form, aka Min, which is why you see her there right there. Adoring Blow grants the user a strength amp, skill energy required 3920. 3,392, amp, strength amp, team amp, max level 2. Okay. Blast of Emotion deals damage to enemies directly ahead, draws them together, and if the user has a team strength amp, restores HP to the user and nearby allies. Damage is 345 times 11 hits, skill energy required is 7,500, and when it's a shared skill, it is... Jesus. 14,100, okay. After skill change, um... Damage is 345 of 11 hits, recover potency is 60. Okay, makes sense. And this also applies even when it's a shareable skill, so that's something good to keep in mind. Her co-op ability is uh, skill damage 15%, chain co-op ability is wind strength amp equals water resistance 6%. Her abilities are strength amp equals reflexive evasion 2, grants the user a 30% chance upon enemy attacks to activate reflex evasion and dodge when the user has a team strength amp. Freeze resistance 100% and strength amp 2 equals skill haste 2. Increase the user's skill gauge fill rate by 10% when the team when they have a team strength amp. Okay. Okay. She's obviously a support unit. Um which is a shame in terms of I wanted another MIM unit like Gala Mim to just completely destroy everything, but I'm perfectly fine with her being a support unit. Um, especially because Wind already has so many. <laughs> At least it feels like to me so many units that are just constantly beating on everything. Um, I'm glad to have her on as a support. Um, seems very good to me. Again, I can't give you a biased opinion because my answer is always going to be, man, look at her. Just summon already, right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right on this. But yeah, these are the two units that are up on the Gala banner. Now, obviously, the I, they haven't revealed what the other banner is going to be after this, but the other banner that's going to be after this is um, going to be based on the event. So obviously it's going to have either Alberius, who is the founder of everything. Um, he is the one who found the Dragalia, and then we lost it. Um... <laughs> High Midgar Soma, not here. High Midgar Soma, it's Humid Midgar Soma, Humid, um, who is very, very handsome looking. So if you're someone who likes handsome dudes, then let me tell you, those two are coming. Um, more people are commenting. I'm really afraid to click on the close button and to go back to the YouTube channel, the YouTube video, but it's fine. Um... But yeah, there's going to be plenty of stuff coming up. And as you know, if you're a big Rage of Bahamut fan, that's the next collab coming up. I'm not the biggest Rage of Bahamut fan, only because I don't really know a lot about Rage of Bahamut. Not to say I think it's bad. That's Don't take it as that. Take it as I just don't know anything about it, really. Um, so I'm going to focus more on um, the specific Dragalia characters I like. So I'm very likely, I really hope Dragalia treats me nice. There are gonna be free nine multi, so I can't go too crazy right off the bat, but God, do I wanna go crazy right off the bat. This is gonna be bad for me. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can leave a like, comment, tell me how you're excited for any of the upcoming stuff. There's a lot of stuff coming. I haven't even mentioned all the characters they showed. They showed a bunch of cool char characters. Brand new Tobias is coming. Freaking Summer Alex with the craziest summer getup I've ever seen for a woman who is constantly on garb. 
wearing a hood. She can rock. She can rock that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully, she can rock it as well as be strong and independent and everything else. But I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the video. As always, you can always show your appreciation by leaving a like, comment, and you can also subscribe to me for more stuff. And until next time, everyone, that's the end of today's adventure. So peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.